Hey guys, in this video, I'll quickly talk about how to actually create a design for Dribbble. And we're going to be creating a very simple login page. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create an artboard for Dribbble. The size for Dribbble needs to be 2000 by 1500. So here we have our Dribbble artboard and we can obviously give it a particular color that we want this design to be based on. I think a slightly uh, purple color like this one makes sense. Then we need to create a, um, a frame in which our design is going to sit on. So I'm going to choose this particular size for it. Let's just drag it and center it. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this frame two times because I want it to be, I want uh, two portions of this to be uh, sitting on the left and the right. So here we have the single portion that's sitting on the left. Here we have the one that's sitting on the right. Let's just give it a background for now. And then obviously we can update it later. So what do we need to do here? We need to basically have a logo at the top and I'm guessing we need to have a, an application that actually allows you to sleep better. So what you need to do is you need to pick a logo. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my Iconify plugin. I'm going to ch choose search for a moon. Here we have a moon and I can basically choose a moon that looks good to me. I think this looks fine. Actually, it, it's slightly, um, but I think like this, this one looks fine. So I'm going to say that I want to choose this one and I'm going to import the icon. So here we have the icon. One other thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to open the prototype view for this. So obviously the icon is really small. So I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. Probably 64 makes sense. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm going to give it a, a sharp color. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it this color that I previously selected. Obviously, you can check select any color that you want. So here we have our logo. I'm just going to ungroup it and then change this to a frame. So I actually have the bounding boxes selected here. going to make it 48 just so it sits on a perfect 48 pixel uh, grid. I'm also going to change the X position to say that it's going to be 64 and then 64 here. Or maybe the X can actually be larger, maybe 120. Um, or something along those lines. So I think this looks good. Now we need to create a heading. Uh, I'm going to choose the inter font. We're going to choose make a heading here. We're going to say login. We're going to have another heading at or a subheading at the bottom. Login. Uh, let's just make it left align. Login to improve your sleep and relax or something along those lines. Obviously, this can be whatever it is that you want. I'm going to make it regular, give it a 60% opacity, give the, make this an auto layout and make this an auto layout as well. So here we have our logo, here we have our heading. I'm just going to rename it to heading and let's just see how that looks. I think that probably looks fine. Um, though I don't want to repeat the word login, so I'm going to say imp join us to improve or probably um, enter to improve your sleep and relax. Uh, and bring peace to your life or something along those lines. I think that's fine. One thing that we need to do is obviously we need to pin this to the left. So we need to go ahead and apply the spacing that we were previously applying there here. So we can say uh, the spacing needs to be zero and hundred from the left and the right. So both of them are consistent. I'm going to say this is, we're going to have a fill container here. And now we need some sign in mechanisms here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a frame. I'm going to give it a fill container as well. Give it a particular height. First of all, I'm going to make it an auto layout and I'm going to say this is going to be a fixed height. And this is all this is can this can obviously be a fill container. I'm going to say sign up or sign in with Google. So that's going to be our first option. Let's go ahead and fill it again. Uh, center it vertically and horizontally. Let's see how that button looks. Obviously, the button needs to be at the bottom. We're going to give it a border or, of, or, a, or a stroke of gray 300, which is again coming from Tailwind. Maybe it can be 400 just to make it slightly more prominent. Let's give it a border radius of 8 pixels. And now obviously change this to medium because we want it to sl be slightly thick. And what we can do now is let's go to our plugin, Brands Fetch, and import and import the Google SVG or the Google icon here. Let's, so here we have our SVG. I'm just basically just gonna cut it, go here and then paste it here and make it smaller. And here we have our 
button. I'm gonna give a 16 pixel spacing in between here. I'm gonna duplicate it as well. So basically the spacing in between these items is quite a lot. I basically just want it to be, let's say 20, 32 maybe makes sense. This button needs to be 24 and this text size probably needs to be 18. I think it's it was previously quite large. I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna actually press Command Shift C to copy this as a PNG and I'm gonna paste it. So as I pasted it, you can see we have an image pasted and let's just go ahead and actually include the image uh, on the actual icon and we can make it on the actual frame and make it fixed um, or the actual image container. So here we have our button. I'm going to uh, make it a component. This, this is going to be our social button and it's, it's a component. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say sign in with Facebook similarly. We are going to go ahead. We are going to go to our brand fetch plugin again. We're going to search for Facebook and let's find our Facebook icon. I'm going to click here and here we have our Facebook icon replaced here as well. One thing that I want to do is I actually want to align all of these buttons to the left. So the text actually starts from the same position and I want to increase where the text starts from. So I'm going to say 64, maybe 48. Um, I think that's probably fine or we can actually increase it just so it visually looks like it's in the center. Though obviously one of these buttons will not be in the center and that's probably fine. So here we have our social buttons and now let's go ahead and actually say that they can also sign in with email. So or sign or maybe just let's just say or and give a uh, a rectangle around it. So here we have our rectangle. I'm basically just going to auto lay out these things as well. Just going to center them and make it a fill container. Give another rectangle on the left and basically give this a fill container as well. This isn't a fill container so I'm just going to go ahead and update it. And one thing that's probably wrong is that this isn't a fill container, so this needs to be a fill container as well. And here we have the fill container. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to say these lines are actually also going to be a fill container. So they adjust automatically based on the space available. So here we have our divider and we can reduce the spacing between uh, the lines and the or. And we can actually make the or slightly more pronounced by giving it a semi bold shape and reducing the opacity of it. So here we have our basic setup. I'm going to say uh, email, I'm just going to place it below, I'm going to give a another frame. And let's just see why. So here we have a fixed height. I'm going to remove that and I want to create another uh, layout that's probably a similar height. So one thing that I noticed is 67 that does not actually fall on a four pixel grid. So I'm going to make that 64. And here we have our other frame. I'm going to basically press command shift C to copy the styles of our basic uh, social buttons and actually place it here and make this 64 as well. So here we have our uh, input and we're going to say test at test.com. Just going to add a placeholder here, actually make this an auto layout and then actually going to make it fixed and then again give it a 64 pixels and then going to make it a fill container and center it. Since we've given it a <clears throat> a fixed height we don't need to set a padding at the bottom and the top so we just need to set it on the left and the right and let's make the padding on the left and the right slightly less reduce the opacity make it regular so here we have our input element so this is going to be input and then in the end we're going to have the placeholder and let's just go ahead and actually make these an auto layout element as well and the spacing in between them can be 12 or maybe 16 so I think that looks good. I'm going to make this a component. I'm going to say this is going to be our input with label. I'm going to duplicate it and change that to password. And we can change this to enter your email and then enter your password. So here we have these two input fields. I think we can actually make this medium and slightly small in size. 18 makes sense and reduce this to 12 as well. Um, so I think that looks good. Now we can obviously have a button here. I'm going to go ahead and create a button that's also 64 pixel in height. I'm going to create an auto layout element again on this button. I'm going to expand it. 
and basically gonna make this fixed height gonna give this a background of the primary color that we selected gonna give it a rounded corner on the edges and make it log in and then we can obviously center it by uh, choosing it centered here and we can make this semi bold because buttons probably need to be slightly more pronounced the font size can be 20. so here we have our left side that's pr practically mostly done i think and it looks good and obviously we can have uh, a forgot your password link here at the bottom or maybe here I think here makes sense 12 move this to the right and basically reduce the opacity here and then change this to the primary color that we have so people can click on it make it regular and maybe even underline it if we want or maybe the underline doesn't look that well actually increase the font size here slightly so here we have our content i'm going to center it vertically well actually i think this spacing actually needs to be reduced so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to change that to 64 and then going to center it and well never mind let's just make it 92 and then probably have it slightly upwards actually we can um, push it directly to the top and we can adjust the spacing from the top by the padding on the auto layout so here we have our basic form now we need to actually have an image here and we can choose the image by going to let's say free pick free pick is a really good resource if you want to find like images um, and i actually have a premium subscription but you can actually use their images for free if you uh, credit them so i'm going to search for let's say night um, landscape or something along those lines so here we have some great images that we can use i'm going to use this one just going to go ahead and download it and obviously you can use any of the other ones that you want i'm going to go ahead and extract it here we have our image i'm going to basically go ahead and paste the image so we have it inside of figma just going to press command shift c and paste it here so this already looks good i think the image itself is slightly greenish in nature which we can obviously change by changing the tint if we want uh, to whatever it is that we're looking for we can also change the highlights as well um, and we can actually also choose an image that looks slightly similar to the theme that we've chosen but since we've not done that i'm actually going to give an overlay at the top so here we have our fill and on top of the fill we basically can reduce the opacity to slightly match the colors and if we don't do that then obviously what we can do is instead of um, having a fill actually applied right then and there we can say this is going to be our form and remove this actually this is our form so this is our form this is the background we don't need it this is going to be the image I'm going to duplicate the image I'm going to remove the fill out of it I'm going to give it another fill I'm going to choose uh, the purple variation here and i'm going to reduce the opacity and now we can actually play with the layer styles i can make it soft light i'm going to go and choose the color one which i think is going to do the trick so i'm going to increase the opacity to 80 percent and as you can see it's already starting to look good one other thing that i can do obviously i can actually make this locked now so this is going to be our overlay this is the image um, I actually want to change the positioning of the image so I, I probably want this sort of a thing here and well, obviously you can tweak it however you want um, and let's just go ahead and add and see what else do we have on the image if there's anything else interesting I think mm, I think this probably looks fine I'm gonna go ahead and add some title here as well and the title here can be uh, sleep well to explore new avenues or something along those lines i'm just making these things up uh, and then we have it semi bold um, though i think we can actually reduce the size let's see how that looks or actually i think larger is fine we're going to have a paragraph inside of it and we're just going to go ahead and actually make it regular going to reduce the spacing in between them to 16 going to make it fill container and actually going to expand it go to our plugin lorem ipsum and generate a few sentences here 
So here we have our few sentences. I think they need to be slightly larger. So 20 pixel maybe is fine. 20 and probably reduce the content here. Make it centered and make this whole thing actually centered in the auto layout as well and reduce the opacity slightly to 80. And now we can actually give uh, some frames here to actually indicate that this is just a particular state or particular slide in this whole thing. I'm gonna make these auto layout, I'm gonna give this an auto layout container again and actually increase the spacing of this auto layout container just to move these items a bit at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna give a radius here and a radius here just uh, stylistically I think that looks fine gonna go ahead make an auto layout again this is gonna be our pagination or maybe slides or something okay so we basically now have these slides here and I think this looks good and here's how you basically go about creating a dribble design I can obviously go ahead and group all of these things together just so they're uh, in an actual uh, frame so this is going to be our content and let's see if we can do any other improvements maybe we can change this background to be slightly darker just uh, to match some of the colors that we have here and yeah i think that looks good and this is all that we have for this video do let me know if you need anything else and if you have any questions on this but other than that i'll see you in the next video take care do subscribe and do hit the bell icon